video record games and apps is the fourth video in the playlist how to use screen recorder 4 to watch the videos in order click the playlist link in the video description video record games and apps will show you how to record video games that you're playing will show you how to use the lock to app function to record an open app or an open folder Lastly, this video will show how to record a connected device. To record a game, first start the game, then you click this icon, and now you select from the list of running games. I'm not really a gamer, so I don't have any games to record, but it turns out that the program I'm recording this tutorial with, the debut video capture software, will record using the record game function in Screen Recorder, so we'll use that. Always use the preview window when you're recording games or locked to app. So open the preview window, now go ahead and select a game, and in our case we'll select the debut program, which is running on the other monitor. But it doesn't matter. It finds it wherever it's running and shows it in the preview window. So if, if I clicked record now, it would in fact record the main screen for, for the program that's recording this tutorial. If you're going to want to use the webcam also as an overlay, you can turn it on. And as we showed you in a previous video, you can move it around and resize it on the preview window. And as we also showed you, if you want to use overlays, you can put an overlay on the, on the screen. And we showed you how to select overlays, and you can resize individual overlays the same way by dragging uh, the corners or the edges. Just click record, and this is exactly what it will record with or without the webcam, depending on how you set it up. To record using the lock to app function, click lock to app. The main window disappears, and as you drag the cursor over open folders or open apps, that open folder or app will have a dotted outline, outline appear around it. That isn't happening now because there's an interference between Screen Recorder and the program recording this tutorial. When I turn off the program recording this tutorial and just run Screen Recorder, as I move from one uh, open folder to the other, the, the outline appears around it. And when I check one, the outline is selected. And then the display, the main window will reappear. I've used the lock to app on this open folder. If the folder moves, it does not move in the preview window. If I move a folder over that folder, you see it on the screen, but it's not in the preview window and it doesn't record. That's because if you open the video settings, this box is checked. This says record only selected window when you're locking to application. So I've locked to this one. It doesn't matter what I do, that's all that's going to get recorded. I can put things on top of it. I can move it around. Whatever I do, it doesn't affect the display. So what I've done is I, I unchecked that box that we saw on the video menu. I unchecked the box. Then I closed and reopened the screen recorder so that change would, cha would take effect. Now when I drag another folder or a program across the locked app or program, it does cover it like Windows normally operates. But remember, if I want to go back and to the video menu and I want to check the box so that dragging it across, well, it'll be invisible. I have to close and reopen Screen Recorder for that change to take effect. I don't have any actual connected devices, so what we'll do is we'll use the webcam as though it were a connected device. Now, there is a trick to that. If you've already selected the webcam as a webcam, you'll have to deselect it before you can select it as a device. Open the webcam window. 
where you've selected the Brio, you'll have to deselect it by clicking here. Now it's unselected as, as the webcam. Now that we've deselected the webcam as a webcam, we can select it as a device to record. And to do that, we click device, we, we select device to record, and then we click the webcam. When you do it this way, the webcam will fill the area you're recording. And of course, you can't overlay it with a small picture of your webcam since you're already using the webcam as a device, but you can add an overlay. We showed you before how to add overlays. Click over here, and any defined overlays will appear, and then you can move them around, change their size by dragging their corners and whatnot. Always use the preview screen if you're going to be recording a device, if you're going to add an overlay to it. The next video in the series is Settings. That video will show you all the options available starting with the Settings menu and its submenus, and also will show you the options available by clicking icons on Screen Recorder's main window. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are also links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to open the playlist containing this video. Click at lower left to watch a video especially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes YouTube channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.